Hey everyone, Three Crown King here. We're gonna play some 2v2 battles with myself. So we're gonna play with two accounts. I got my phone happening, one account here. And I'm gonna play on the computer with my second account. So I think I've cracked the code here for this new 2v2 algorithm. Your King Tower plays a much more important role as far as the matchups of who you get. So what I did was I created a third account and I'm keeping this account level one. So it's all level one, I'm not upgrading any cards. Eventually gonna try to get as many legendary cards there as I can, but as you can see, level one account combined with level 10 account and we are off to the races here as far as who we're matched up against. We got a King Tower 6 we're up against, playing two, two things at the same time. Multitasking is getting challenged, but, you know, we're having fun. So basically the, the main idea behind this is getting the Mega Knight ready. So that's what we're going to play. Going to have some fun with that, getting the Mega Knight ready, getting the Elixir Collectors down, you know, just basically getting ready to pounce and uh, we got the mirror max level mega knight we got a mirror happening so we got some good cards we're gonna mirror the firecracker a level 14 firecracker is a crazy powerful card does tons of damage a couple of arrows is gonna take it down that's okay we're gonna do that mega knight is in the house that wizard is done. We got another Elixir Collector down. Mega Knight is still doing his thing, knocking things down. We're going to support him here. That even might be a three crown. Nope, we're not going to quite get it there. But we're in a good spot. We got a lot of Elixir. Double Elixir mode. We got... Some strong guys in the back. We're going to go ahead and stomp that there. Yep. I think that's going to be all she wrote. Good game. Three crown. There's one. Let's see if we can get on a streak, get on a roll. Pretty fun to see three crown and three crown. The nice benefit about this is I don't have to worry if my teammate is going to leave the match if they're no good right it gets pretty fun we're going to get the three crowns racking up pretty quickly doing this because every every win is really two wins look at this king tower four we got all right king tower four i like that that's a good start let's see what they've got we're just going to cycle through to my elixir collector Played the Goblin Cage in the back. Musketeer down. Like I said, I'm, I'm still getting still getting used to playing all of these cards at once. It gets pretty crazy, pretty hectic. Mega Knight is going to stomp. We're going to mini P.E.K.K.A. behind. Really need to get some air support. So we'll get... That, I have a baby dragon. That feels good. Firecracker. There we go. Okay. So we're going to get a tower here. There's one tower. Good start. Good start. Pretty good defense by uh, the opposition here. But... Like I said, we got a real good start here. We got a couple Elixir Collectors down happening. Honestly, one of my favorite cards right now is this level 3 Elixir Collector. Un unupgraded. But the cool thing about low-level Elixir, Elixir Collector is it gives you the same amount of Elixir as a high-level one. You just got to watch out for those spells, obviously, that can hit. But if they don't have spells, they don't destroy it. A level 3 Elixir Collector does just as good as level 13. From an elixir standpoint, and the 
true beauty is you can kind of really dictate the flow of offensive defense. And that's going to be game. That's going to be three crowns. There it is. Another one. As you can see, our tracker is updated. Over 7,500 three crowns. And we're racking them up quickly, especially with a strategy like this. So we might get to five digits for the three crown tracker in the near future here. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribing for the latest and greatest videos. We're going to get one more game in, I think. Let's see how things go. All right. So, interesting. I think I'm going to, we're going to start hot and heavy with the Mega Knight here. Okay, there we go. So that's fixed there. We'll get some air support. Get some air support behind. That's going to be tough to beat. We got the elixir collector happening. There we go. There's a tower for the good guys. Probably just going to elixir collector it up here. See what happens on this push. We're not going to quite get three crowns, but it's going to be close here on just this push. Yeah, that's good. Now we'll goblin cage, pay a little defense. Look at all that value for the fireball. Boom! It hits. Yep, that's fine. Goblin Cage is destroyed. The Goblin Brawler comes out. That's fine. <laughs> Dodges the fireball. All right. Okay. And here it comes. Here comes the big push. We've got a couple firecrackers. Going to make short work of that. You know, we're going to... Really, I, one firecracker hit. Or a couple should cause it and I think the giant's gonna get it look at the giant pushing through the bowler three crown again he said I think I have found the strategy that's how you do it stay tuned for more thank you for watching hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new videos leave a like or a comment and be sure to check out these other videos over here until next time